All right, we got this uh, Gary cello top. We glued yesterday in our top back along here. Before I take those off, we also glued a little chunk on here where there's wood missing. Found some spruce, similar grain pattern. We'll trim that down. I'm going to show you the clamping arrangement though. You have to clamp it on both sides, otherwise it will not stay straight and flat. So we'll take these clamps off. It came out nicely. Perfectly flat. And we glued this up hole crack as well. We use cork, which compresses when you push it in there, and it serves as a clamp. We had another clamp here. We took that off already, though. But we're leaving that one on because it was so badly uh, twisted that we want to let it set in place for a day or two. Make sure it's set. And uh, we have one more crack to glue right up here. Or I should say down there. By this F hole. Yeah, have a crack there and a crack here. Yeah, that's open all the way up from here to here. So we'll be doing that one next. But for right now, we're going to set that aside. And take off the clamps from the back. Which we glued up also yesterday. And this particular seam here was a little tricky because uh, the, the lining was also loose. We had to glue them both at the same time. We could have glued them separately but that would have been taken longer and would have ended up the same result. It's hard to glue one without the other because you got glue all the way around in there. So we had a little tricky clamping proposition there. Nice and nicely uh, sealed up now, cleaned up, and, and here's an interesting uh, aspect of uh, old cellos. This is probably from around 1900, turn of the century. As the age, the back and the top shrink a little bit, but the sides also shrink but they shrink this way not lengthwise because of the way the grain is so consequently your back is smaller than it used to be but the ribs are the same length so you can see that little white line there this is where it originally was and a little white line right there too and uh, over the years that popped loose because of the shrinkage and it was glued back together Popped loose, glued back together. So that was done several times over the years. Where's my hot water? Yeah. Anyway, now we're it's back where it uh, glued back solid. But what that does is make the rib very close to the edge. The only way to fix that is to shorten the ribs. But in this case, we thought that was still close enough to the edge that uh, we, that was unnecessary. So, we've got one more. Uh, take the clamps off of the upper ribs. We had four different seams to glue on this back. We'll make sure that's all nice and stable before we uh, glue the rib crack which we'll be doing next. 
and that is right here. Way out of uh, crack for me. Well, actually, just from here to here. Oh, a little crack right up there too. And you see this line here? That's a uh, imitation crack. It's not a real crack. So it make it look old. The funny thing is, it cracked right around that because that weakened the wood when they etched that. But this other crack is below that line, so we'll get it glued up and, and uh, make sure it's nicely aligned. Much easier to do when you have it apart, and then we'll put a patch in there. So that's where we stand on this one right now. Ch checking with us next time.